about two years ago I LS swapped my 82 K10. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons to it. Uh, also going to discuss how much it cost. So it cost me about $903 to do this. <laughs> It was by far the best improvement I ever made to this old truck. I did retain the factory four speed uh, with the granny low. It's a SM465. It pretty much bolted right up to the back of the block. The flywheel out of a 02 Silverado that had a 4.8 in manual transmission. Factory C10 or K10 radiator fan shroud. The fan mostly in there. Haven't had any problems out of that. I used radiator hoses out of a 02 Silverado. The bottom one, it's the only one you have to modify. I had to cut it in order to get it to kind of bend where I wanted it to. Used factory ECM, factory wiring harness that's been spliced up. Uh, I did a, some trading with a guy and he actually spliced it and modified it for me and it ties directly into a factory wiring harness now as far as gauges i have my steam port vent i don't know if you can see that or not my steam port ties into my water pump Add to drill and tap that. I think I've got a link for that fitting there. I also drilled and tapped for my coolant sensor. So I actually run factory gauges on this. The speedometer is driven off the transfer case. Then everything else is electric. The bypass fitting down by the oil filter. I drilled and tapped that. And that's actually what I'm using for oil pressure. I'm running a manual throttle body. Javon, come here. Alright. On the power steering pump, I actually used factory k10 uh, return and feed line it on some models it requires an adapter but i read online that these will bolt into the back of it and they have and i haven't experienced any leaking my exhaust are i think it's pronounced scone field uh, Anyways, they're headers. They clear the frame really well. Uh, I've got the manual clutch set up on it. And it clears the Z-bar. The only modification I had to do on that was relocating an O2 sensor. So it put it straight into the frame. And the passenger side has pretty, clear, pretty good clearance also. The fuel lines, iron style fuel rail on it. So there are the two fittings. You can get filters like the Corvette style that return it earlier if you have a deadhead system. But I didn't have to do that. This is just an Amazon special cold air intake. It's worked well, hasn't given me any issues. Now as far as the fuel system, I ran the factory K10 saddle tank is not baffled i'm running an external fuel pump so there's some pros and cons to that pro it's easier to install at least 
it was for me. One of the con is fuel slosh. It will cut out if it's at a half a tank and I goose it. Also, if I park on a hill, it might not start up. So I have to make sure the fuel is always topped off. Bit of an inconvenience looking back, I would have went with just a baffled in tank setup. But I will say I haven't had a fuel pump go out on me. As far as the fittings on that, I have a bulkhead fitting there for my return. And I use the factory outlet. You, all you have to do is cut off a little lip that's on it. And then that's like a pressure type AN fitting. Overall, it's been by far the best thing I've done to the truck. Uh, this truck is mostly used for work deer camp hauling stuff around the yard but i do get it out on the highway i mean it looks pretty nice for what it is but if you're on the fence about doing it i'm going to say go ahead and do it because it is the best thing you'll do to one of these trucks